Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, new location today. <laughs> so tonight, um, I just want to say hi. My name is Lynette Crosby, um, and I am a life coach, ed educator, artist, and guide. And um, tonight I was actually supposed to be um, doing a broadcast on my art and how I make it and what I do with it. And so uh, that actually didn't happen tonight. The studio was overbooked. So tonight I'm just going to share some of the wonderful things that have been happening in my life and um, and the wonderful people that have been amazing and supportive to me. First off, uh, let me just say that I help people reach past their circumstances and realize the magnitude of their power by being the example and living living as the example and doing, you know, the most positive high vibration things that I can. Um, and that's everything from creating, teaching, you know, interacting, living and enjoying life. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Uh, just catching up. This is my third day on Periscope and I'm really excited about it. Um, so if you're with me, tap on the heart, say hi, say new, type in and let me know that you're there. Um, and yeah, so let's get going. Uh, what's the first thing that I want to talk about? Oh, the studio. So I had this beautiful opportunity from this young lady named Liliana who works in glass uh, to come and play and create and see how I can take this medium that I've been using of metal resin and crystal and incorporate that or replace it in certain cases with glass, um, with hot, molten, malleable, beautiful glass. So. I'm really excited. I already use glass in my pieces when I make them, so I want to see what the possibilities of that that is. And it is the possibility. You know, is it going to even work? Is it going to melt? Is it going to, you know, what are, you know, what can you actually put in there? You know, can I take some peppercorns and put them into a piece of glass? Will it actually hold it? What temperature does it have to be before it's not um, flammable? Or, you know, I'm going to learn a new language and a new way of applying uh, what I do. So and I and I and I'm excited because I want to see what the frequency of having that is, you know, of using that is. So, but I, we had it, you know. It, she gave me the opportunity. And I jumped on top of it, and then she called me last minute and said, "You know what? The studio is not available. It's overbooked." Um, and I didn't feel any disappointment. I felt like total love. Um, I was really, you know, just like, Hey, I'm grateful for the opportunity. If it's not going to happen today, she's like, Oh no, we'll do it, uh, next week at some point. So we're going to, once we set our schedule and we figure that out, then I'm going to, um, let you guys know ahead of time <laughs> and, um, and you guys can come along with me for the ride. So there's that. Uh, then I also, uh, found out yesterday that I was mentioned on Art is Life, Nina La Negra, uh, actually posted what I did on Periscope on her Facebook page. Um, and that was, you know, just like accident. I was looking for something and I found that and I was like, oh, this is so cool. So, um, you know, she's been absolutely amazing and wonderful and I'm really excited to be able to create with her and learn. We have some projects that we're working on. And I've been, thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Um, and I have been uh, invited back to her radio show on WRBB. So I have this really cool, um, this re really cool news for you guys. So I actually wrote it down so I can get it right. Um, and first off, let me talk about Arda's life a little bit because Nina La Negra is amazing. Um, and what she does is every third Thursday of the month, um, she has a uh, performance series uh, that embraces food, art, culture, the Haley House Bakery Cafe, 12 Dudley Street, um, Dudley Square, Boston, Mass. So she does it every third Thursday of the month. And I, she's actually showcased some of my art there. So that's really cool. And, um, and you know, so her page really focuses on all types of art you know, all these different genres. It's just wonderful and amazing. Love you, artist life. Love you, love you, love you. <laughs> awesome. Oh, Nina La Negra's on right now. Thank you. And so, um, so yeah, this is, you know, amazing. It, it's wonderful. Just, I'm stuttering now. I'm so excited <laughs> that you're on. Um, and thank you for the opportunities that you've given me. It's been wonderful. Um, now on Sunday, um, I'm going to be on WRBB. She's also a radio host and uh, on WRBB. And so in order for you guys to listen to it, what you can do is, and, and Nina, if you want to type this in, 
Um, you can uh, tune in by going to Simple Radio and downloading the app. So, so there's a free app. You can use Tune In or Simple Radio. Download the app, and then you guys can listen to me. And I will, um, you know, we'll see if maybe Nina, we can broadcast it live on Periscope. Uh, the interview, if we can get somebody to, you know, you know, take care of this end of it while we're doing our thing. I think that would be amazing. I would love it. So um, let's talk about it and see what happens. If it's, if it's possible, I'll definitely let, let you guys know. Um, but you can definitely tune in on using the free app, tune in or simple radio. Thank you. Nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nina. I, I absolutely will. Um, so let's see. Um, more details on time and date and all of that. And that's coming up soon. So I'll let you guys know. Um, also let's see, um, today was a really, really like, I want to touch base real quick. It was an amazing day because I had all this love and support, um, all these opportunities that just came to me, it, you know, and, and I wasn't necessarily ready in the moment. And there was a part of me that wanted to, you know, go into like, why am, why don't, why can't I move faster? Why don't I feel good today? You know, my energy was low, my energy body, it just, there was something going on and I needed to stop and rest and meditate. And this wonderful opportunity of this other, um, this other woman of, uh, sister sense from, um, come on now, having a moment. LaShonda Henry did a class and, um, and the class, what she did was, uh, blessings of, um, blogging for business webinar. And she was live the whole day and my energy was just so low. I wanted to do it. I tried meditating. I just wasn't, I knew if I got on, I wasn't going to do any justice to myself and what she was teaching. I would have gotten over, I, it would have put me in a state of being overwhelmed and I would have stopped. And I would have, you know, beat myself up for it energetically like I would have done in the past. Today, I made the decision. It's available tomorrow. It, it's $27, which was like outstanding. She did over four hours of content. And um, and I know that it's available for me. There we go. There we go. Nice. 4 to 6 p.m. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Um, and so, you know. I just wanted to, to take care of myself and be the example. And that's why I'm coming on here to talk to you guys. Sometimes divine right timing is just that divine right timing. And just because the opportunity is in front of you doesn't mean that you're supposed to jump on it right then and there. Are you ready emotionally? Are you ready, ready physically? Are you ready financially? Are you ready, you know, spiritually? Are you ready for what's being presented to you? And a lot of times what happens is we're not ready. We run ahead too fast, you know, wanting something to be done. And if, and when it's not done right, we end up crumbling, you know, the opportunity that we had. And then we're upset and, oh, we messed up. And why didn't we do this? If we had to just taken a moment and said, is this something I'm supposed to do? Is this where I'm supposed to be at right now? Nice. Tune in. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. So when I post this back up, that information will replay for you guys so you can see it. If, it, if anybody missed it, um, it'll be on the replay and the replay will be available for 24 hours. So you can just go and, you know, take a look again and just, you know, even fast forward to that point and you'll be able to get the information. So, um, so for me, I have a lot to do over this next week. I have an opportunity to go and build with LaShonda Henry um, on a actually having my website move forward. And if I push myself further than I was supposed to go today, thank you. Um, if I push myself, you know, faster than I was supposed to go today, would I have messed up that opportunity or would I have been overwhelmed? You know, it, would I have pushed myself too far today and then next week not been able to meet the um, the beautiful opportunities where they present themselves to me as far as like going on Sunday. Now that I've rested today and I'm going to rest and take my time to do what I need to do, I'll be prepared on Sunday. I won't have, in the past, I would have just pushed, 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 pushed until I, my, I felt physically broken and mentally broken, emotionally broken. And then I would have blamed myself for not being ready for an opportunity when, because I knew I was tired, I didn't just take a moment to rest. 
So divine right timing is important. Sometimes you just have to just step back and say, you know, this may not be what is good for me right now, but I know when I'm ready, I will be ready because I created a solid foundation for myself. So that's what I wanted to kind of mention and touch base with on with you guys today because my body was just telling me, I, I, I can't do this. This is whatever it is you need to do. I need to heal. I need to be recharged. I need to rest. I need to renew. And, um, and so, you know, that's, that's what I did and that's what I'm doing, even with what I'm doing right now. So that's why I'm on here and just, I decided, you know, I was going to go through like, oh, I was going to try to make a project for you guys. Um, because I had actually announced on Facebook that I was going to do the glass blowing live today and it just wasn't something that I was able to do. Um, so yeah, so there's that. And the next thing is, uh, support from the right people. Um, Liliana, uh, who came to me and gave me the opportunity to have this glass blowing. Um, I, I was, I felt so blessed. Um, now I get to create and play with, you know, this new medium of glass. And it was something I wanted to do for a long time. And I had all these beautiful opportunities and people, um, come to me and say, you know, do you want to do this? Uh, you know, it's even as far as the radio station is concerned, do you want to, you know, possibly be on? So that came up this week when I just announced I was going on Periscope. Um, it, it, you know, the opportunity came up to be able to participate in the, um, the, you know, build your, your community, your, you know, with LaShonda Henry coming up this weekend. And I'm not saying that right, but I, um, in Virginia, like that, this is an amazing opportunity and I get to go because I have done the work, um, and I'm ready for it, but I'm ready for it because I just stepped out and said, this is where I want to go. I raised my vibration. I chose to have beautiful, wonderful people around me. And because I am not only embracing the opportunities that are coming to me, but I am grateful to them before they come to me. I'm able to just have, it seems like more and more and more experiences are coming every single day. And in all of those experiences and all of those connections, I'm making sure that I'm staying focused on balance because the reason why every single el thing else that I did in the past, if I ever struggled through having an event and I was up all night cooking because Rafu chef, I used to be a Rafu chef, I'm still a certified Rafu chef, just not practicing. So, um, so, oh, thank you. Love you. Love you. Um, you guys listen, you can tap on the hearts, tap on the hearts and let me know, uh, you know, send some love out. If you tap on your screen right by the, um, the little person on the side, the hearts will come up on the screen. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, and you, and if you're watching the replay, excuse me for bouncing around, I am going to get a tripod for this soon. Um, if you are watching the replay, you can still tap on the heart. So go ahead and tap and, and show some love for yourself and for being here and, and just participating with me as I go on my journey. Um, hopefully, hopefully the people that are watching this are getting inspired. I'm figuring this out day by day. I am going, I'm doing all of this and everything that I'm doing so that I can create a wonderful environment for people who want to reach past their circumstances and realize the magnitude of their power. People who are awakening, um, that are coming out of the matrix, that are realizing that there's more to life than they ever thought it was. I was one of those people four years ago and I didn't have a place to go. I didn't have anybody that was going to talk about, you know, their spiritual entities and there's this and there's that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, and so I, I want to make sure that there's a place for people who don't necessarily like know that there's even a conscious community or anything like that, but for just starting their journey, trying to figure it out step by step every single day, you know, what, you know, what can you do about the, um, you know, Wi-Fi that's, that's affecting your sleep and you're suffering from insomnia. What can you do about the things that are bothering you or confusing you or whatever how do you how do you find your way and how do you know that you're not alone you know how do you find intelligent uh, uh, you know what 
I'm not going to use the word intelligent because intelligence has definitely been used in the wrong context the way that we have been taught it. Uh, but you want to have people who have heart mind connection to communicate with every single day and that, you know, can be an ear or that you can send out a note to and just say, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Why am I experiencing this? Why am I seeing something out of the corner of my eye? Why am, you know, why, why do I feel this way? Why am I tired? Why do I go from joy to fear to, to confusion to, you know, I'm going to save the world. Like, how do I figure out a balance? And, um, and I want to help people to, to do that. So the only way that I can do it is to get my message out there. And for some reason, this thing, hiding my message, you know, hiding my message in my house, hiding my message with just the one client that I talk to, if I can talk to 50 people instead of two, if I'm talking to one, let me give as much as I possibly can from my heart and and express who the, the truest, highest version of myself is. That's what I want to do. And that's what I'm doing every single day. So, um, I don't have, I don't have a plan with everything, but the plan is being created and it's, and there's the bigger plan, the universal plan that was already created for me a long time ago. I have a divine life purpose and a soul mission and I'm here for a reason and I am optimistic and grateful and joyful about fulfilling my soul mission and helping others to fulfill theirs just by living my life and being the example. So, um, actually to, I'm going to wrap up with that. I don't have a lot more to say. I'm grateful for you staying with me through this and I'm really, really excited. Um, tomorrow I'm going to just, I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan, but I need to, to get a plan. We'll, we're going to see what happens. I'm excited about Sunday. Um, I will be on artist life itself with Nina LaNegra and, um, and that's WRBB 104.9. Um, and then, uh, then you can go to uh, the free app and you can, um, download tune in or, uh, simple radio and you can listen in and I will announce that tomorrow with more detail. Uh, thank you guys. Um, I love you. I am grateful. I am thankful and I am appreciative to every single person that I'm able to touch with my message. And, um, and I also just want to say, have faith in yourself. Have faith in humanity. Reach past your circumstances. Realize the magnitude of your power. You are not alone in this journey. We are all one. We are all collective consciousness. And there are more higher vibration souls out there than there is any low vibration. Low vibration now is just an illusion. It's a glamour. And you can find your way by just connecting with like-minded souls and continuing to give love to every single thing mind, body, and spirit. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Good night.